Yes, that's right. Mr. Pep Guardioli will be leaving Bayern Munich to join Manchester City in the summer. But what happens to the old Man City manager? The man who is old as time itself, who has more emotions than a woman throughout that one week in the month which men don't like to talk about because it is icky. Who has more emotions than he puts Kristen Stewart to shame. He has more cracks than a drug dealer. It's Manuel Pino Grigio. Mr. Manuel San Pellegrino. Wait, what, what is it? Pellegrini? Mr. Manuel Pellegrini. Hey guys, today we are going to be doing another FM experiment. Cue the explosions. And today, as you can tell by the little intro I made, I hope you guys liked that, I'll be doing Manuel Pellegrini at Bayern. And I know that Carlo Ancelotti is actually going to be the new manager of Bayern Munich, but I just wanted to see how Pellegrini got on. And obviously it's more about Pep Guardiola going to Man City, but you can't leave Pellegrini out, he's just an old man. Can't leave him out. Let's give him another job, let's send him to Bayern and see how he does. And now, thankfully this is my second video on FM Scout, hopefully you guys are enjoying my presence here. I'm absolutely loving being a part of this channel and this community. And congratulations to everyone else who's involved and to all you guys for letting us hit 10k subs. So without further ado, we'll see how he does in his first season. First season, it's July 2016, and let's see, fingers crossed that he is still the Bayern manager, Pellegrini, he is manager of Bayern, still seems to have kept the job, you can see as you hear his career achievements, they won the league, they won the German Cup, and they won German man he won German manager of the year, but let's go into a bit more depth, now see it says their second, we need to go in and see what happened last season, so... They won it by a landslide by nearly 20 points. They won it by 14 points. 25 games won, 6 drawn, a bit more than usual, and 3 losses against Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg, and Hoffenheim again. They must have a little stalemate with Hoffenheim going now. Maybe a new rivalry forming, no idea. But 88 goals scored. That is so much more than second place. Second place was Dortmund, and they scored 63, so a solid 25 more. And in conceding wise, they only conceded 26, which again, second in place was Leverkusen, they're no, not even 10 over that. But let's see what else they managed to do, can I, can I even check, I can check their schedule. So let's show the filters, let's go for just the German division here, oh no that's okay, last season. So she had a shit ton of good form going on from February right all the way until the end of the season in fact, they just won so many games and didn't even concede more than one goal. Last time they conceded more than one goal was actually the game before. And then before that was all the way back in December. So let's get the league out of the way. So they absolutely won that by a landslide. And then the German Cup, which they won, winning every single game as you would do in order to win it. I mean, scoring so many goals and only knocking up five in the process, or conceding five in the process. Did they play in the Super Cup? They won 3-0 against Wolfsburg in the Super Cup, which was, I think was maybe the first game they played. And in the Champions League, wow, they did quite well. But no, I suppose they got put out by Real Madrid in the quarterfinal. Probably should have gotten past the quarter-final, but if they did get paired up with Real Madrid, it was always going to be a 50-50. So their group was Man... was it? Yeah, it was... Yeah, Man City, Ludogorets and Salzburg, so a pretty easy group. But even the first 4-0 going against Man City was absolutely huge. Who was the manager of Man City then? It's actually Pep, Pep Guardiola. I didn't even set that. I did not set that at all. That's just a complete coincidence. And what else? Is that it? So that was all the competitions they did. Who did he bring in on transfers? Let's see. I was about to say no one. They brought in Sydney Sam for some strange reason. They don't need him at all. How many games did he play? Five games, seven come on as a sub, scoring three goals and two assists. So I suppose he's kind of a a kind of rotation player, or maybe even someone who's coming for injury, and they sold Rafinha to Spurs for six point two five million. Now is there anything else more to see? I don't think there is. Not much else. What tactic did they play? Can we check that? It's just a standard 4-2-3-1. Can't see the in-depth part of their tactic. But let's go in. Let's see their senior squad and who... Oh, I can't even check who got the most goals and things. You know what? I'll do that for next season, so I'm terribly sorry. But I guess in the past five games, the best person... Or the best player was Lam, Lewandowski, Alaba. So, you know, all the main players here and the most expensive is Mr. Lewandowski. Although, can we go in stages last season, or stats for last season, I can't, that's so annoying, we'll catch you all in the next season. 
Okay, now this is us in the second season, and let's see how they got on. I won't be doing it season by season, don't you guys worry, I'll skip a couple of years next time after we look at the second season. But he still is a manager, Bayern, how well did they do this year? They came first, okay, so I, I didn't sim it right through until July, I'll put it to June so I could still see everything else. So let's get away the playoffs, it's league table, did they do better this year? Wait. Okay, so they did better than last year. This is the first season, 81 points. They did a lot better, well, not a lot better this season, but they at least got one more win and another draw. Um, so taking away from those two losses, adding one onto the draw and one onto the wins. Scored 82 and conceded 20... Yeah, scored 82 and conceded 22. Last season, they scored 88 and conceded 26. So maybe, well, they knocked off more than uh, less goals conceded, and they didn't score as many, which isn't amazing, but the goal difference... Again, last season was two better, but let's see who was below them last season, 67. So, I mean, they did run away with it this year by more than 20 points, 23 points. And let's see who they signed this season. They must have signed some big names if they're able to win this season by so many. He signed Luke, oh my goodness. They spent so, 109 million and let go 20 million. So he signed Lukaku, how many goals did he score for him this season? Didn't actually play very much at all. Five games, six goals, nine sub-appearances. Signed Fred from Shakhtar for 18 million. Played 17 games, okay. Seven goals, six assists. He's actually did really, really well for him. The one year's worth 25 million now. Signed Jonas Hector from Colm. No idea why they signed him. He's a left back, played nine games, 13 appearances. Got a rating, average rating of 7.1. Joel Matip, I can understand, 20 million. Played 16 games, zero sub appearances, and one play of the match. Average rating of 7.3 is fantastic, in my opinion, for a centre half. Mario Fernandez, another one I can also understand. Who is their other right back? Oh, Lamb, that's why. 15 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 player of the matches, 7.7. .7. So there's no wonder why all these players are getting such a high average rating. And that's because they just win every game. And you think Benjamin Tete? I thought he would have been a regen. He's not. Did he actually play? Season stats, 33 games. Oh, for Bayern 2, I was wondering, I was like, why is this guy getting so many games? So, 19-year-old striker, and he's actually looking very, very decent. He would be, I've never seen this guy before. If you guys ever want to sign a cheap 19-year-old striker, then definitely go for Benjamin Tete, because he looks like he can score a power of goals, and he has done for Bayern 2, which are in what league? Well, the regional league, I suppose so, but for the future, he looks like he could, he could be amazing. And let's go back, let's go into their schedule. So... Without taking anything away, I really don't want to. Won every single friendly, only conceded one goal in the friendly against Sparta Prague. Won the Super Cup against Leverkusen, so that's two years in a row. Actually, let's go on, let's just take that away. And let's go for the German Cup. They actually got put in the second round the next time by Hertha Berlin. They won it last year, and that is disappointing second round. The board would not have been happy with that. Won the Super Cup, we saw that. Champions League, they did even worse. Their group was Napoli, Shakhtar and Dynamo. Not a bad group, a little bit. Um, easier than last season, and then got put out by Porto in the first knockout round. So Pellegrini can't really handle it on the Champions League stage like they like he has done with Man City. Bearing in mind they're actually still in the Champions League and they're lining up. They physically can win the quadruple since they're still in all competitions. But let's go into the first division, and again, oh my God, they didn't lose a game from August. All the, they went what? That doesn't make sense, does it? How many games did they lose? They lost one game. So they lost one game against Leverkusen and then just didn't lose a game since. No wonder they ran away with it. I mean, what tactics were they using? Still the 4-2-3-1. And let's see, who scored their most goals? Big Lewandowski, 41 games, 25 goals. Then Thomas Miller with 15 and Mario Goetze with 15. Can I actually just go into their senior squad and check the assists? Let's put the assist on stats. Assists. Who got the number of assists? 20 assists from Goatzer. 20 assists and 15 goals. That is unbelievable. 40 million. I'm not surprised he's worth that much. Anyway, who got the highest average rating? It was Philip Lamb. 39 games, 7.72. Again, he's aging. He's slowly going down in value, but he's still putting in a massive shift. Mario Fernandez, then Mehdi Benatia, Jerome Boateng, Mario Goatzer. Just all the usual suspects. But who are the. Any new signings actually getting a game? Sydney Sam only played one game from last season. Kingsley Coleman is still he's still there. How is he worth that much? How is he worth nearly 30 million? 20 years old and doesn't even get a game. Well, get 11 to be honest. And Holzberg, I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Anyone else? I really hope Lukaku gets a game once. 
well maybe if Lewandowski goes he is only 28 so I can't see him leaving anytime soon so they actually still kept the same players since they have in the first season apart from Fred who's actually climbed up in the appearances but other than that there's not really much for me to check I don't think is Pep Guardiola still at Man City? He is and we won't check how, how Man City are doing but guys, we're going to simulate the next couple of seasons. I won't do it one by one because that just gets kind of boring. We'll simulate maybe three or four years in a season and see how he does. So I'll catch you all guys there. Okay guys, now we're back. It's about four years in the future. I think I actually went three years and let's see how he did. What I realised once I stopped the recording before I went on a holiday for three years was the fact that Pellegrini, as I said in the intro, is as old as time itself. So I really hope he isn't. Retired Pellegrini. I've spelled Pellegrini wrong. Oh dear, has he? Oh no, please don't tell me he's retired. Bayern. Okay, so Jurgen Klopp's now the manager. Pellegrini retired in 2017. That is so bad. It's just when we left it that he retired. He won the. Oh well, no. Well, he, he left. In the summer of 2017? Is that, where we, is that where we left off? It was. Oh dear, that's annoying. Jurgen Klopp came in for the past two years. But guess we can see how Bayern did since Pellegrini left. Let's see. So the league table, let's actually go here. League table. So 16-17 was Pellegrini's last season with one game lost. Then Klopp came in and didn't do as well. 82 points and then 77. So doing worse year on year and even... Well, one point better this season, but they obviously were better off with Pellegrini. So let's go into Bayern, let's see who Klopp brought in. I know this isn't really part of the episode, but I've got to at least show you something. So, let's see. 16-17, this is what Pellegrini brought in. And the next season, Klopp brought in so many. Dennis Suarez, Stelmich, oh my god, he's quality. Oh my. So should be seeing a lot of regens coming in. Well, apart from Alberto Moreno... Semedo and Philip Doling. Again, I cut three three regens in and he sold Sebastian Road for 7.3 million. And then next season, Jack Grealish on a free, which is an odd one. John Stones, Lazar Markovic, Michael Frey. I thought he was a, a regen there. Bartos Olcha, which again he's even even better. Uh Stefanovic, but he's actually sold him already. Sold him in the same season and made a loss of nearly nine million on him. Again, more regens, fantastic signings. And who did he bring in this season? Again, just constantly spending the money. Son, I'm not even going to bother saying that name. Vanderhorst, Kampf, or Kempf, Geis, DeWitt. Again, just loads of regens, setting in material. I don't really want to check how Klopp actually did. You know what, as a little bonus, let's see how... It's, oh dear, I haven't even typed anything in. Guardiola, he's still at Man City, so we can at least see how, how Guardiola's gone on. Okay, Man City. Oh, I've not even got that league loaded. But since he signed, they only they didn't even win it once. So I sincerely apologise that that's actually happened. Oh my! Oh jeez, he's amazing. Okay, never mind. I sincerely apologise, but I couldn't. It's out with my control that Pellegrini went on to retire. I apologise if this is a uh, was a disappointing end. But you at least got to see how he did. And, in his first two seasons, and who knows, he might actually have retired in real life by that point. He is, I think he's 61 at the moment. I'm not sure, but if you enjoy them, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do what you like, and remember to check out my stuff on my channel, which is linked in the description. I am Keepers, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.